Hello my friends, Gabriel here, back with another video and today I'm going to talk about the iPad Mini 2 Retina If you are subscribed to my channel, you already seen the first impressions video a couple of weeks ago and uh, now it's time to do my uh, full review Let's not waste any time, I'm not going to talk about uh, construction and design you already know how the tablet looks, uh, how it's built it's a typical Apple product but I'm going to talk mostly about the things that um, I like and uh, mostly about the satisfaction that you get from uh, buying and uh, using this kind of uh, product so uh, the good things uh, let me start with the first one it's battery life which uh, it's excellent I, uh, I had no issues with the iPad mini 2 retina considering it's a um, giant resolution and uh, I usually get about uh, 12 hours of uh, screen on time considering my uh, my type of usage you can see right here 6 hours and a half and I still, uh, still have uh, about 51% uh, battery charge and uh, the device was on for about uh, 34 hours not uh, I haven't used it too much in the past two days but uh, still you can see right here the times uh, and pretty much uh, the overall battery life experience with the iPad mini 2 is great as it was uh, with the first generation I was getting about uh, 11 and a half hours with the first gen uh, iPad mini so uh, no issues here and uh, if you are uh, the type of user that wants uh, the best battery life then I highly recommend this, uh, this tablet some other things that I like, of course, the screen, <laughs> everything looks um, a lot sharper, um, a lot detailed, it's, um, it's an excellent display and I have no complaints about it, uh, I really enjoy it, using it, especially when uh, consuming uh, multimedia or uh, if you want, uh, especially watching videos on YouTube, let's go to, to YouTube and load the video and uh, I'm gonna show you another thing that I like that is the speakers right now we have uh, stereo speakers on the bottom uh, side of the device and they are pretty loud, they do a decent job and uh, let's just uh, pick up one video as you can see right here I have a lot of videos with uh, <laughs> cartoons for my uh, niece Let's pick up uh, this one. The world is an adventure waiting to happen. Join us on our journey with Turkish Airlines. Hey, hey. Hi kids, I'm Bob. Today we're going to learn the alphabets. A is the first letter we need to find. Let's go and find A. Can you see A? So as you can hear, the loudspeakers are doing a great job. It's an excellent device for uh, multimedia consumption. And uh, also, you've seen the viewing angles are um, excellent also. No issues, no issues uh, outside in uh, bright sunlight. So a uh, big plus uh, to Apple for, uh, for uh, making this tablet uh, that's it, uh, it's a great tablet, it's a very very good tablet, I really like it, I really enjoy it, it's very easy in the hand, with an excellent battery life, a fabulous screen, and um, some very good uh, loudspeakers. Uh, what else there is to say? Game time, um, or if you want to, uh, sorry, gaming, it's excellent. You already know how um, games are running on uh, iOS. If you want to see more, you can check out my um, videos on my channel. I made a bunch of videos on um, iOS uh, devices, so you can see there. No problems, no issues, no drop frames, no um, lag, nothing. The only problem that I have with uh, gaming is uh, the fact that uh, the tablet uh, overheats. And unfortunately, uh, and this is not the first time it overheats a lot 
and uh, at some point if you have a prolonged uh, gaming session it uh, it may start feel uncomfortable uh, in your hands so keep in mind uh, better use a, a case for uh, for this device and uh, then you're good to go things that I don't, that I don't like uh, well this is mainly about software I really don't like iOS that much okay it's easy it's uh, easy to use it it's uh, easy to do some basic things but um, if you want to have uh, things that for example you can only find on uh, Android devices or Windows Phone devices then uh, you must uh, jailbreak your device uh, install Cydia and uh, start tweaking uh, your iDevice uh, this is unfortunate because uh, after so many years Apple is still offering the same uh, limited possibilities to, to the user out of the box but in a way it's great for those of you especially for those uh, like me who like to, to play with their devices to tinker with them uh, it's actually a good thing because uh, thus I, I don't really get bored in uh, using uh, the device but as i said out of the box it doesn't offer too much it uh, only offers the basics and uh, if you want to have some uh, more advanced features uh, for example uh, double tap to wake and um, some other nifty tricks then you have to be um, jailbreaking if you want to see some tweaks that uh, i highly recommend to use on a uh, ios device uh, Go to the link in the description of this video and uh, I'll post there a link with uh, what I consider to be the most useful uh, tweaks from Cydia on uh, any iOS device. Especially one of my favorites, the double tap feature, double, uh, double tap to wake or uh, to unlock, uh, which I consider it to be very well running on, uh, on iOS. Uh, to my surprise, it was uh, really running better than uh, on Android. So, uh, excellent battery life, uh, excellent uh, screen, very easy, very easy to handle. Um, I don't really have any big issues with this product. As I said, my biggest uh, gripe is uh, with iOS in general and with its uh, lack of uh, functionality out of the box. Uh, I know that uh, there are a lot of uh, iOS uh, fans right uh, right there, but uh, you need to understand that uh, not, not everyone appreciates, uh, let's say, um, what Apple has to offer. Still, my opinion, a great device uh, right now where I live um, in Europe can buy this uh, tablet for about uh, 250 euros brand new uh, this is the Wi-Fi model the 4G model costs uh, about 350 euros but uh, considering what it has to offer uh, this is a good purchase and I highly recommend uh, anyone who's looking for a good 18-inch um, tablet to go out there and uh, try out the iPad mini 2 I know that uh, the iPad mini 3 Retina is out, but uh, to me, honestly, it's not, um, let's say, uh, a must-have, as uh, only for the fingerprint sensor, uh, I don't considering, I'm not considering paying uh, that much for um, what it's actually the same thing. Okay, so uh, this pretty much does it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, also share it, and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my official Facebook page, Twitter, and Google+. And uh, as always, uh, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel, sign out. Peace.